Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Vantamad and welcome to another video here at Madodos channel. For today's video, we are going to update a 10 grooved system somewhere here in Paranaque. We're going to look at the system at night. So, this is a 10 grooved system. Uh, it's almost a 7 months old or a year old. So, we have the two gro gravel beds here. So, we are growing water spinach here and some okra and some uh, eggplant at the back. So it's uh, a forest already, so we need to trim this down. We also have lettuce in our floating raft. So each floating raft has a DWC floating raft. Each flo floating raft contains around 100 lettuce. So let's look at one here. As you can see, the lettuce is very crisp and the roots of, the, of our lettuce is very clean. So it's growing on styrofoam wraps. Okay, so let's put this back. So to recap the flow of the system, from this system, uh, from the gravel bed, it exits a bell siphon to the DWC, then this double DWC exits here, and then it exits to the next DWC, floating raft number, number 3, and then it exits to floating raft number 4 over here. So it has a mirror image on the other side, it has the same flow, and it exits to this two floating rafts which also doubles as our sump so this is a, a sump which contains our pump so here we have a very small pump so we have two we also have another pump here so those pumps they go to our fish tank inside our fish tank room so let's go to our fish tank room follow me So this is the entrance of our fish tank room. Let's go inside. Let's look at the fish. So follow me here inside. So this system is an old design. So we have a 1,200 liter fish tank here and we have two filters. One static and one moving bed bioreactor. So we'll discuss that later. First, let's look at our, our fish. So here we have 100 tilapia, okay? So look at the bottom of the tank. As you can see, they're already big. And the water is very clear. We also have dissolved oxygen provided by our aerator. So those are our two aerators. One aerator provides for our fish tank, our filter, and the next aerator provides for our DWC. So let's look at our sensors over there. So, the reading of our sensor is 93 uh, TDS parts per million. Our pH is a nice 7.2 and the temperature is 29.3 degrees Celsius. So, from our fish tank, we can look at the bottom and see the solid lifting outlet. So, let's look at the bottom of the solid lifting outlet. This is a curved solid lifting outlet which sucks in uh, fish waste from the bottom and diverts it to our radial flow filter over here. So look at our radial flow filter over here. So in the radial flow filter, we can see that the radial flow filter is accumulating a lot of the solids under, under the conical bottom. We also have uh, snails or kohol in Tagalog, which uh, eats the un undigested fish waste and the uneaten uh, fish feeds. So it exits now to a static media. So this is the static media. And then from the static media, it now enters our uh, solid lifting outlet over here and enters the next radial flow filter in this stage. So again, let's look at this radial flow filter. Let's zoom in on the radial flow part of this filter. So as you can see, in this radial flow filter, or the second radial flow filter, there are only minimal solids left. So we can, we can note that the first one is really working because in the second, in the second uh, radial flow filter, there's only little solids left. So from the radial flow filter, it will now exit our moving bed bioreactor. So this is an MBBR. The media is now nice and brown and nice and mature. So it's now nicely bubbling away our radial flow or our moving bed bioreactor. We also have snails here. 
So these snails, you can feed your fish, you can crush and refeed your fish, or you can uh, cook as escargot or with coconut cream. Okay, so we place our, sh our snails back in the filter. So from this filter, it will now go back to the grow beds outside. So a view of the grow beds outside from the fish tank. So a view of the grow beds outside from the fish tank. And then from the grow beds, it will exit to the pump or to the sump and go back to our fish tank in that, in that inlet. So that's the overview of our system, an update of our system in Paranaque at night. So if you want to learn more about aquaponics and see our upcoming videos, don't forget to hit the notification bell when you subscribe to our channel. And uh, we will also have a seminar, uh, monthly seminars or webinars which we will conduct in different uh, aquaponics systems that we built. So to, to get an update on that schedule, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe also to our, our Facebook page, Modular Aquaponics. Again, thank you for watching.